everyone, welcome back to Colonial's Books, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Archive and The Unbound by Victoria Swell. So the first book I'm going to be reviewing is The Archive by Victoria Swell. This is book one in the series. This is a duology, or it could be a three-part book series. She hasn't decided yet. Um, the two together pretty much wrap up the entire story though, so I'm not completely sure what she's going to talk about in the third book. So the archive is about a girl named Mac Mackenzie is what they call a keeper, and this means that she is going to be out um, finding these things called histories with the capital H, and this means that she's going to these histories are actually people that have died and their spirit has gotten out of their body between some time between going to the archive where they keep the bodies and whenever your body leaves and you become a history you kind of go psycho and you're kind of dangerous to everyone and so Mackenzie's job is to find these histories and end up putting them back inside their um, soulless bodies. So some background on Mackenzie is that she lives with um, her parents and they decided to actually move to a new place after her younger brother ends up passing away sadly and they're pretty much just trying to get away from everything. Her mother actually ends up opening up a bakery um, in this hotel that they live in and she's kind of a new project and that's one of the reasons that they wanted to move to this area so she can make this project happen. And so Mackenzie's not really excited about moving. She didn't want to move. She wants to be around where she could see, this, um, be with her best friend and see things about her brother and she just she couldn't she can't really have closure with her brother because she um, actually ends up visiting him very often in the archive and she's sad a lot and so Mackenzie some background on her uh, she decided to become a keeper when she was 12 year old 12 years old because her grandfather actually pushed her toward the job there's only about one person every um, generation that can have this keeper job and if you are the only person you don't know anything about it like um, her parents don't know anything about it, uh, her brother didn't know, only her grandpa knows and passed the information down to her. And so that's only a kind of information that she knows about being a keeper is from her grandfather. She can't learn anything from her dad or her mom and um, she pretty much just runs around trying to find histories and no one knows. She has to keep it from her parents. Um, she may probably think she's crazy and send her to a psych ward. So there's one person that Mackenzie actually starts to befriend and his name is Wes and he's kind of cocky, he's funny, he's apparently pretty good looking, he wears guy eyeliner and um, they become best friends during the summer that she's there. Another person she ends up talking to is this guy named Owen. He apparently lives in the building or he's some, some guy that lives there. She um, later finds out that he's actually history himself and he actually hasn't gone rogue yet and she's trying to figure out the entire time what's happening and why he hasn't gone rogue. And that's pretty much like her entire objective during this book is trying to figure out what's going on with Owen and how everything's working out and she tries to help him find some type of closure and maybe eventually she can send him back to his body. So that's pretty much the summary or synopsis of the archive. I'm going to go more in depth now about what actually happens in the book so keep an eye out for that. This is the spoiler section. So in the spoiler section, Mackenzie actually starts having a romantic relationship with this history named Owen, and it's kind of weird, but kind of hot a little bit. And um, they have some makeout sessions, and um, she starts to build feelings for him. But we find out later that he's the bad guy in the book, and so her, uh, she, since she pretty much kept him. A, a mystery and a secret no one knows about him and she kind of secretly was trying to help him out during this entire book and so even Wes doesn't know about him and he's trying to figure out what's going on with her and he actually ends up kissing her because he likes her but also to read her and see what's going on and he finds out about Owen and he gets really upset and he runs away. There's actually a portion in the book where uh, Mackenzie and Owen have a fight and Wes is there and he ends up and so uh, Wes gets hurt and she actually ends up taking him back to the archive and they fix him up and there's some point in the time where he loses his memory so he has no idea who Wes or uh, anything about really Owen anymore or that she had a little romantic history with him. There's a person in the archive that can erase your memory and she kind of doesn't know if like he asked for his memory to be erased or if he just kind of blocked it out. We don't really know 
And so the rest of the book is pretty much um, Mackenzie fighting against Owen and she actually ends up sending him through a void to get rid of him indefinitely. And um, it pretty much ends with that in the book of the archived. So the second book is way better. Mackenzie's back. She is still getting rid of some histories. Though the only problem is that she keeps having these nightmares and she keeps seeing Owen in her sleep and she's not 100% sure if it's really him or if it's a dream. And it's something that she's dealing with pretty much the entire book. Um, about three fourths of the book she's really scared of Owen. And it's kind of annoying because feel like she should be strong. She's been dealing with histories for a really long time, way longer than Wes, and he's okay. Um, the person in the archive really wants to take away her memory of Owen so she stops being freaking out and stressed. And she actually ends up like passing out in the um, between dimensions of the, uh, the library archive, I think, and the real world. And so that was a really big concern of the, um, of the librarians that are in the archive. And so pretty much halfway into this book, she starts to plot against the archive with Owen. And so she is, she's pretty much just dealing with their plan during the entire thing. And I know what you're thinking, is this true? Is she really plotting against the archive? And we don't really know. We don't. Pretty much the entire rest of the book, we don't know until the end if she's actually plotting against her actual friends in the archive. She does think it is a little corrupt, but she I don't I didn't wasn't completely sold on her actually being against it and wanting to destroy it completely and kill everyone. Nothing really happens until the night of the dance, and that just sounds really cheesy, but that's what happens. Um, she decides to go to a dance and Owen says this is when it's gonna go down. This is when you're gonna make your move. And so pretty much through the entire portion of the dance they're doing this fight. There's this going on. Everyone thinks that she's gone rogue. One of the librarians is totally against her and she wants to get her detained, take her, strip her of her um, keeper abilities. And so near the end you, it's like a few chapters left that you find out the truth of what's going on. So Mackenzie pretty much is for the archive and she's plotting against Owen while he, she's plotting with him. And so they're pretty much dealing the entire time about um, how this is going to go down, how she's going to get against them, and so she actually ends up being captured um, through during their plan and this is actually part of her plan that she was going to be captured because in this part she could send him back to where he came from and so that's pretty much what she ends up doing is that she gets rid of him near the end and so after that happens she decides to have a hearing with one of the main guys because they really want to know what happened they want to know her story if she was actually against them or with um, or for them and they find out that she was actually for them but she wants to tweak a little things with the archive and that's pretty um, self-explanatory something that should have happened because they were kind of corrupt and um what else was I gonna say uh, it's pretty much her and Wes talking about the relationship and what's gonna go down near the end and it was just a really great way to end the book since I have no idea what the third book would be about and maybe like her and Wes's relationship while they break down something, don't know, I have no idea. I would really recommend this series to practically anyone. It's pretty great paranormal read with some love. And that's pretty much what I like to go for a lot of times is paranormal with some love. And this was a great book books to read. I read book one and book two in two days. I read the archive one day and the unbound one day. So that's pretty, pretty quick read. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about this series. I went I didn't go that much in depth because I wanted it to be a simple review and I didn't want to spoil too much of what actually happened. And so just let me know if you liked it. We can discuss it some more in the comments or if you want to talk to me on my Tumblr or Twitter, I will link those um, in the description. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this books. So if you like it, thumbs it up and let me know if I should read any new books, if there's any books that you actually think are sort of like these books because I really enjoyed them. So that's all.